everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is part three of our little accordion journal or keepsake book, whatever you've decided to call it. Um, in part one, we did we created the journal, and then we focused on the cover, and then part two was this little page. And so now part three, I'm actually going to turn this over so this is the back side of it um, and I'm going to use this panel I've decided and what I thought we would do today is I want to create like a little door that will open up and in my mind I'm thinking it's going to it's going to open up into like a little like a garden maybe with some f butterflies or bees. I'm thinking bees because I don't want this to all be full of butterflies. I want to mix this up. Um, so um, let's just get started. I've played around with a little bit. Don't worry about what I've used. I just happen to have these small postcards in my stash and I've just used this but you could just use card cardstock would be um, perfectly fine. I was playing around thinking that I could use the image so that it would be a postcard that opens up but by the time I trimmed it down I really didn't like the look of that so I'm going to actually cover this with some of the coordinating papers which I've got here so I'm going to have to back this but let me first just give you the measurements because um, if you're working the same size that we that you know I gave the tutorial on you're going to end up with a three inch by two and a half so to make these little doors, this is uh, one and five eighths by two and a half. So you're going to need to cut two two sheets that that size, and then I have scored it at the half of a inch score line. Um, if you don't have a scoreboard, don't worry about it. Just fold over what you think, um, and then you can. You can always play around and just and just place them here to get the right placements because what I want to do is cover these and then I'm going to add some eyelets and add a little bit of twine so that those will stay closed and we can open that up and then that's where we're going to have like a little secret garden. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, so the front of this I want to use the same paper so I'm just going to do that really quickly and then we'll get started um, covering the back as well because um, I'm going to have to cover the front and the back side of this because it is going to show when you open this up Okay, so that's the first panel covered. And then let's go ahead and get this one. Okay, and now let's go ahead and I'm going to um, back these papers with a coordinating. I just think it would be nice. I could do it in the same pattern, but I think it's nice to have some different, a different pattern on the back. So 
So I hope everybody's doing well today. It's uh, Friday, yes. I tend to lose track of it now because our days are our our days off are Monday and Tuesday. So it really throws me, and I'm always surprised when I look at my clock and and realize that it's um, Friday. Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays are our busy days, so we're looking for, <clears throat> we've got a lot of big groups this weekend, so, so yeah, I'm just, it's kind of like the calm before the storm, I, I, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it's going to be really a busy one, because there are a lot of folks staying here t this, this weekend. So last night we just had um, a couple of the guys over, and there's two guys here. One's, I mean, there's there's a lot. Of, there's about 30 guides, but um, there's two guys here that are, clo you know, closer to our age, and the one guy is married but um, stays here through the week, and then the other guy is single. We had both of them over last night and visited with them for a while. And we had some pizza and just sat outside. It was a really nice evening last night. So it was nice nice to just get out and visit a bit. Okay, so, so that's how those are looking. I think it would be nice to round the corners. And then I'm going to glue those down, and then what I thought would be nice is to do a contrasting paper over that. So let me get my corner rounder, because I want to round off this. And all I did was just cut this a quarter inch shorter, so I think it was two and three quarters by two and a quarter. Okay, and I do think I want to go ahead <clears throat> and round off these corners as well. and distress those edges a bit with some ink. So actually, before I get those glued down, let me go ahead and set the eyelets in this. so that they're even. Okay.
Okay, so now <clears throat> I want to get this glued down before we <clears throat> add this um, this other piece over it. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just show you so you can see. I've only left probably an eighth of an inch because I want to get that as close to the edge as, as possible. Oh, I just realized that was upside down. Oh, bummer. Now those aren't even. There's no way to fix that. I'm not going to worry about it. Yes, that's such a shame because the only way I could fix it would be rip this one up and that would that would end up upside down. So, unfortunately, see, this is why I was trying to... I thought I had that right. Oh, what a shame. Anyways... It's just one of those things, but I'm not going to worry about it, guys. So yes, be conscious of that when you're doing it, because I that design should have been... Yeah, I wasn't thinking was not thinking when I did that. Okay, anyways, we're going to move on from it. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to open up. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm very sorry about that noise. The air conditioner I thought was off, uh, but it obviously kicked on. Alright, so I've just, as I said, I made this other little piece to go over it, and I just brought it in by a quarter of an inch on all sides, so I'm going to get that glued down. Okay, so now you can see up close how that's looking. Don't mind the wonky eyelets. <laughs> ah, frustrating. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, is this is going to have some some twine. Let me just grab some. So here you've got two options. You can have this just tied on each side so that when you open it, it'll be fine. Or you could just run it through. But I kind of like the idea of each side. Um, that way it can just be tied and... When you open it, it you won't have to pull the remove the um, the twine. That's that's what I'm thinking. Oh, 
I really, really miss my linen thread because this stuff is it's so stiff. It's just not that easy to work with. But I've tried. I told you I'd purchased some, and um, it ended up being really just a thread. So that didn't work either. But oh boy, I'm really hoping that when Paul goes back, he can run run across mine in the lockup. I don't think he will because my stuff is quite far back in the the storage unit. Okay, so let's just see if this is gonna. I might have to work on this a little bit to get it the way I want it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I might have to take that down to just a single. It might be a bit too bulky. Okay. So what I've got and Yours is going to be different, obviously, um, because you'll have different ephemera to what I've got. So let me just show you what I'm thinking about, and I'll grab my little notebook full of bits and pieces. Okay, so this image here is from a Tsunami Rose Kit, and I th actually think I'm going to just start by trimming this one down. Let me just use my paper cutter. Okay, and so I'm just going to lay some things around here. These images are from my porch prints. She did a little mini book series, and of course I had designed for her, so I had the B bundle. That's where all of these is, have come from. And I was thinking it would be fun just to... Um, take some of these images along with some of my other ephemera and play around and just see. I know one thing, this has got to be trimmed more because that's gone right up to the edge. So let me just trim a bit more off. Yeah, this has got some really pretty little bee images, and I just thought it might be fun to cut out some of these. Hmm. I like this image as well. I think that would be pretty if I can make use of that inside of it.
see if I can fussy cut this little bee out. I like that. Maybe a little bit of cheesecloth behind it. But I'm really liking the way that's looking. All right, let me just grab a bit of cheesecloth. Just going to ink this up a little bit so it's not so white. Um, the reason I'm going mostly for the cheesecloth in this one is the way this is made it would bulk up if you used a lot of laces um, but that's not to say that we won't add some because I probably will uh, but for now I'm just going to start with this Put a little bit back here as well. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do, let me ink this up around the edges a little bit. Alright, let me just look and see if I've got any other kind of um, fibers or laces that would work. All right, so I've pulled a few. Oh, here we go. I've got some muslin, just a little trim, and then this is such a pretty one I found along the way. I'll probably do something with that. Just going to lay these down and see what I think. And then I'm thinking maybe the bee can be sitting on the muslin. Because we don't want it to be too perfect. I don't think there's any chance of that now that I've buggered up the eyelets. So. <laughs> don't we have to worry about it being too perfect? Let's get a little bit of, I'm switching over to the Fabri-Tac now, guys, because I'm starting to deal with some fabrics and laces. Um, the cheesecloth is fine for the other glue, but when you start getting into this, using your fabrics, I'd switch to this. Um, 
that will definitely hold it in place. And then I, I, sometimes, I just like to kind of pull it apart and make it a bit um, <laughs> ratty. <laughs> I know there's got to be a better word than that, but... So we've got this. You know, actually, just let me check my other little stash. keep forgetting about my stamped little bits that I did the other day. I might actually do some distressing. That's a bit too... Let's see how this would look. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... Do I want that? Maybe... Maybe just have that kind of... No, I think that's just a bit too big. I've got these. This is quite a nice one there. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking that now. And then I found, you remember I've got these massive uh, brads. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have some kind of um, metal going on in here. Maybe down with this to balance it. But I think that I'm going to go with that. I really want the little ticket just kind of sticking out. Let me ink it up a bit here, because that's going to show um, on the back. Okay, so that's just going to kind of have it there. That one I'm going to put back. We're not going to use that one. And I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. And again, I'm just going to go back to my Fabri-Tac since I'm putting the fabric to paper. And then we've got the little B, so I'm just going to get that one down. I 
Actually, before I put it down, I'm going to put a little bit of thread behind. I've got this, the, it's like the quilting thread. It's a little bit thicker, but any thread would work. I'm just going to put that behind it. Um, let's see, let me put a little bit of the fabric tack there. And let's see, get our little B. And then down here, um, I'm just going to, i, I got to somehow make this work. I think what I'll do is put that brad between there, and then I'm just going to cut that off with my scissors. And again, we'll just put a little bit of um, the fabric tack that will hold that. And there we go. I think just a little bit more over here, and then that's going to hold that in place. Okay, guys, let me see how I'm doing on time. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to do this all in, you know, just maybe a couple of um, uh, shots because yesterday, boy, I really had cut the camera off and on a lot and it was so so difficult editing like that so I do apologize for the the quiet times but it's just how it is when I'm creating I have to stop and think and re you know redo things <laughs> uh, okay so let's just have a look at this now it's a bit busy but I wanted it to be I wanted to open up to something just unexpected is what I was thinking and this is in my mind it's like oh this busy little garden with the bees around the hive and um, the only thing I think I'm going to have to work on oh yeah see that won't shut now with that brad but mmm but I do like the the metal so I'm gonna keep it I'm just going with it the only thing I, I think is this closure. I'm not really, really liking this, but I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. Uh, what could I use? Okay, let me just rethink this because I'm not I'm not liking it, so I'm not gonna leave that. Let me just I think I'm just gonna go to a single strand of it and see if that will be no I don't I just don't like it. Yeah, I really, really, really do not like this hemp um, twine. Okay, plan B. I've got some of this baker's twine, and it's not ideal, but I think it's going to be the best I can come up with. But luckily, it's kind of a green. So I'm going to see if I can just kind of age it a little bit. Where's the start of this thing? There we go. Actually, I think this is going to be loads better.
Oh gosh, I'm running out of uh, time here, guys. Luckily, I think I'm almost done. Okay, that is better. The only thing I've got to work on now is this metal brad. Um, Oh, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so now let me show you guys up close. This has turned out really, really cute. So there it is. And then when we open it, this is what we've got. Do we want to put some kind of little saying? Mm, I think there's enough going on in this one. I don't want to overdo it, as I said, with the butterflies or um, the phrases. I don't want to over overdo it. I want each panel to just be its own little little thing happening. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. It actually went much smoother than I thought it would. <laughs> I've never actually made one of these little doors before, which is just crazy because I've been crafting for ages. Um, but I've never actually done it, and I love it. I mean, you learn from my mistake, you know, that little mess up of the placement of the eyelets is a bit frustrating, but... Um, but I don't think it's that noticeable when it's tied. You're not. It, it doesn't show as bad as I thought it would. So I'm very happy with how that came out. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would have done different. And yeah, who knows what um, what the next little panel is going to be because I just really kind of came up with this idea last night. So this is, um, I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys are as well. Take care and I'll see you here soon. Bye-bye.